Hi guys, got another video here for you. If you've ever wanted to know how to create your own multi-boot rescue CDs, especially if you're into IT and you want to get all your tools and put them onto one CD or USB drive, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to do that with a free program called Xboot. It's an excellent piece of kit and it really does make life a lot easier to create your own ISO images. So let's get started. We're going to need two things. We're going to need a free program called Xboot and we're also going to need a load of ISO images so you need to download your ISO images and I've renamed mine to suit what I want and also we're going to create the actual menu now so we need to open up Xboot go to run and this is the actual interface it's very very easy it's a drag and drop and you just need to drag and drop these files in okay now we're not going to be worrying about these two up the top here we're just going to be concentrating on this part here We've got two buttons down the bottom here, one's called create an ISO and one's called create a USB drive. I'll do a create a USB drive in another video, we're going to be creating an ISO image in this video. Okay, so a thing to take note of is the size. When you're creating these files, just make sure that you don't go too big than the, a DVD itself because obviously it won't be able to burn and also the uh, same thing as your USB, if you're creating a USB drive, don't make it so big. That is too big uh, than the actual USB drive itself. So let's start off with file and download. You've got a nice little box that pops up here, and you can actually download the actual files from here that are in this list. Okay, now this isn't the only ISO images that it will run, it will run other ones as well. But as you can see, you can select a load of good uh, ISO images from here. I don't need those because I've already got mine, so I'm just going to pull this to the side here. And then open up my ISO folder, which has got the ISO images that I want to use. Okay, so all I need to do here is drag this straight across. And as you can see, it's automatically found the category, put it into uh, antivirus, and that's because that was in the list. So now it's uh, created that. So what I want to do is drag in Bitdefender. So I've now got two tools which are in the antivirus uh, section. Also, I want to put in another multi boot. Uh, CD or ISO which has got loads of tools in it which is one of my CDs that I use and it's got loads of good stuff on it now what do we do here it's not recognized it so it wants to actually add something in see if it's in the list I know it's not in this list because I created it myself so I'm going to be using this okay add using grub for DOS ISO image emulator that's the add this file and now it's left a category which is blank so I need to now fill in the category and call that what I want it to be shown up on onto my menu. So I'm just going to call this rescue and I'm going to put CD in there. It would help if I spelt that right. So I'm just going to put the S in there. Rescue CD. Okay. So what we need to do now is ERD commander and I'm going to that is for XP. Now this is in the list. It's actually there if I want to use that one but I want to create my own one. So I'm just going to go up to the top add this to file and I'm going to put this into recovery there's no recovery uh, section so I'll need to create one now that's for XP and now I've got Hiran's boot CD I'm going to do the same thing it's not in that list add this to file and now I need to create a, a category for this and I'm going to put that into the rescue uh, rescue CD okay category and then I need to put in my MS Dart, which is my brand new version of MS Dart. Now there is a version here I can use for Windows 7, but again, I want to use my own category. So I'm just going to put this into recovery. And that will be the 32-bit version. I also want to put in the 64-bit version. So I've got two options, okay. Now these will work on Vista as well, 7.0, like so. Uh, a password recovery software, that's what I want to put in there next. Now you can download these OPH crack, but I use my own software, and I'm going to be using this one here. Now I could put that into a category all on its own, I'm just going to put that into recovery as well.
puppy Linux and that will be in the list but I've renamed it so it shows up as puppy Linux okay and then I've got win 7 uh, PE and also Windows XP live so I'm just going to drop those in, in there as well and I'll put these in their own category so I'm going to call these live CD also need to put the XP version in so now I've got plenty of options there now you can call yours what you like and put in what you like but these are the files that I'm just creating in this video here so we finished with the actual ISO images now now I need to go to create an ISO and then as you can see it wants to name the ISO xboot Dot ISO. I'm not too bothered about that I'm just going to say yes to that and click OK and let it start creating the actual ISO well it's copying all the files first that's what it'll do it copy all the ISO images and then it will start to uh, build the ISO image okay so we'll let that finish off and while that's being copied across as you can see up the top the total size is 3.58 gigabytes that will fit on a DVD okay that's uh, just copying the last one across now and it will start to compile the ISO image there you go it's starting to create the ISO now okay so that's now created and all we need to do now is click yes here and this will give us the option to have a look at the actual ISO that we've created so what we need to do here is just click on the cursor keys here and we can now see our categories I'm going to go into antivirus here and you can see that we've got some uh, tools here that we've added Kaspersky and Bitdefender and whatnot back to the menu system and then we can go through and see all the tools that we've added rescue CD recovery as you can see MS Dart and whatnot there's a few there and we've got our live CDs and Linux and whatnot. Okay, so if you want to see these boot up, I'll show you. I'll just boot these into a live CDs, uh, uh, Windows Virtual Box, and I'll show you how they work. Okay, so we're booted into our Virtual Box now, and you can see we've got uh, some selections to make here. And if I wanted to boot into something, we could do that. Rescue CD and go into Here and Boot CD maybe something like that and there you have it and we have our Irons boot CD as you can see works perfectly fine okay so I hope you enjoyed this video my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button to show your support and also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more videos in the future so if you've got any ideas for videos that you want me to make, then drop us a line and I'll uh, try and make those videos for you. Also, nearly at 10,000 subscribers now, so thanks to everyone that's been supporting me over the time and also subscribe to my channel. So thanks again, guys. Bye for now.